And that last mission opened up a bit of, um, dialogue and an urgent mission, so... I'll read that and then get to the urgent mission. The kids are all ca carrying on about some odd creature they saw in the woods. First I figured it was just their imagination playing tricks on them, but then I can... Cornered the kid who saw it and heard his report firsthand. Sounds like we've got a shakalaka on our hands. Shakalaka looked like us except. Oh, oh, okay. Looked like us except half as tall with weird mass. Don't let their size fool you. They're vicious. I've heard tell they're worse than wyverns when they attack as a group. Tribe has shown up in our woods. I hope I'm just jumping to conclusions, but if you plan on searching for the little bugger, you best be prepared. Oh, by the way, the kids insisted on asking the guild to look for the thing they saw. Go check the quest counter. Uh, so, here we have two great uh, jaggies. Ooh, that'd be a very good thing for... Uh, Getting resources and commodities. Got a broken shell here. And so, yeah. So let's talk to the Elder. Brilliant, kid. Only a smart hunter aware of all of the monster's mighty gritty little habits can pull off a capture. Once you've bagged a live monster, hacking the things to death seems e easy in comparison. I know. But sometimes you can't just rush in and attack. You've got to use your head. But not literally. That'd be a bad idea. Now then, while you're out, you missed a bit of excitement in the village. One of our boys came home saying he'd spotted a strange creature in the wood. Neither human nor monster, he says. Sure, he could chalk it up to a playful imagination, but I think his story warrants a listen, at least. Better safe than sorry, right? Let him give you the details to do me a favor and go investigate. Heck, do yourself a favor, the guild is treating this as an official quest. You should drop by the quest counter. So, yeah, um... Let me just check my... requirements for the Thane Lance. Okay, so we just need two Macolite Ore. I think I remember where to get that, but I'm not entirely sure. But anyways, let's... Why don't we do this urgent quest? Shakalaka, sh say this thing. So basically, this is where we get to play hero for the guy who um, acts like a hero for the rest of this. Even though he's he's not like, you know, in certain games, there's like the protagonist, and then there's the guy that follows along with the protagonist and acts like he's all the big tough guy trying to get all the credit. This is this is the guy we're about to save. Yeah, so we've already gotten some text of him. And uh, it appears he is in the nest and requires saving. So, why don't we charge on in like a valiant soldier, ready to defend even the most... I don't know where I was going with that. Willing to defend anyone, let's just go with that. All of them are sleeping. It's the introduction of Cha-Cha, your little sidekick. Charge! And they pay you no attention. So yeah, I'm not sure if you can fail this one, but... God darn it. He has a health bar, so 
You may want to pay attention to it, you may not. I know that in regular gameplay, um, when he runs out, he'll just dig into the ground and heal. Also attack. And he's disappeared. Okay. And he dug to nine, the home of the Ludroth. Well, not really the home, that's twelve, but. It's it's a place that Ludruff like to hang out. This guy just has terrible sense. Like if he went to one or two, the most menacing thing there is Kelby. <coughs> so yeah, we've got some Ludruff to fight. These uh, I think we've seen shown Ludruff on camera. These are Ludruff, sort of like crocodiles. Um, they're good for resources. Uh, they have this little spit attack they can do, which gives you water blight, which makes your stamina recover a lot slower. It can get annoying. Uh, actually, no, I have shown these on camera. I talked about, um, the Royal Ludroth, which is their sort of big counterpart. He's crawling, but it's like water. So is he drowning? Just pats at the ground and then jumps straight through it. Fantastic. Not actually sure where he's going this time. Oh, he's uh, down at two. Don't know exactly what's coming out of two. But anyways, uh, and we have a bunch of Jaggy to slaughter. And so usually when he digs, he'll recover his health. So you really don't have to worry. Sure, he could probably take all these himself after a while. Although it does take him a while to attack. But he um, he does become a useful um, addition to your sort of hunting. Uh, he can give you buffs, attract enemy attention, and he can sometimes attack, but. That is not going to help. And even, even more so if he attacks, sometimes he can screw up something you're doing, like laying bombs or trying to get it to sleep. If you have a weapon that does that. Where did that jaggy come from? Anyways, use the mini whetstone. Just to Sharpen my blade up. Not sure where he goes next, but it'll be someplace. Ah, oh, he's at the base camp. So, that's that urgent mission. We get our little sidekick, Cha-Cha. Quest complete! In the village in 20 seconds. Even shorter than a <coughs> capture mission. Must complete. Returning supply items. And the stamp of quest complete. Alright, so we get a few jaggy stuff. Fire douse berries, some raw meat, some hydrohide, nature sponge, 
monster bone, jaggy stuff. Uh, sell item and exit. So we got sixty dollars for that. Or sixty Z. Now I'm probably going to have to do a lot of talking. <laughs> so, we've got, um... Talk him. <laughs> well, how about that? The creature was a shakalaka kid who couldn't find his way home. Well, you know what this means? Cook him alive! <laughs> Just kidding. Mugga Village, we welcome all visitors with open arms. But they... Be they shakalakas or... Lions. Besides, I like this kid. Talk about a sense of humor. Did you hear him say he wants you to be his minion? <laughs> he wasn't kidding. So, how do you think you feel about looking after him for a while? Take him hunting with you. He's clearly a gutsy kid, and you'd be giving him an experience that'll last him a lifetime. What? Don't give me that look. Haha, <laughs> relax. I mean, look at the two of you. You're a dynamic duel already. Cha cha or cha ha! It's the greedy, greedy hunter. Cha cha try to put hurt, hurt on monster, but then hunter cha charge, steal cha cha thunder with chop chu cha. Cha cha tired lung, tired tongued. Cha what? You ask who is cha cha? Chakalaka cha. You no no cha cha. Your brain hurty hurt. <laughs> Oh dear God! <laughs> he is proud, wandering lone wolf, a champion of great Chakalaka tribe. My name, name is, my name, name me, me name, name Cha Cha. <sighs> now, Laka, listen, Cha Cha, no lost me on long time walkie walkie. Oh, for the love of, I am skipping over this. None of this is important. He can change his mask, we don't have any. He can select his dances, he has a few. He can select abilities. He has none. Oh, no, he has a few. View stats, he has very little. So yeah, and you can invite him on quests if you need to. Alright, so we got some wet fish, some wheat. Wet fish, some sleepy fish, some sushi fish, some shiny starfish. Alright, dispatch. Oh, the coast. Fish finder. And I'm going to generate some resources. Er, generate resources. And. Now we've got more people to talk to. Ooh. Hello, Hunter. Yuku Kinta. You hunt well. You trade well. We trade well, yes? You just in time. Carrier Pigeon, come with good news. Another land will want to trade with you for Moga commodities. This is one... This one is Hunter Realm. Their trade goods contain benefit for your hunting... Kakujitsu. One complication. Now that other lands want to trade with you, you must formulate Kenekaku. Kenekaku means plan. Maybe you want to ex explanation about choosing destination and length of the voyage? No, I can explain that myself. So basically, you can request stopovers. You can tell stuff um, them to visit or bypass stuff, and you can see what sort of trade goods. So you can sort of bribe them to get what you want delivered. And you can also give the voyage aid. Um, so the hunter realm gets you armor spheres, felline bombs, bounce bombs. Those can be useful for flying enemies. Sung bombs, barrel bomb, L, and the two traps. As well as some rare stuff like, uh, that's a dance for cha-cha. 
Uh, that helps the hunting fleet when they're looking for treasure. Uh, this this is another thing for the uh, hunting for the fishing thing uh, when they get yet another type of place they can go to and this is the book of combos 5 so yeah usually I'll get this um, to ooh the double barbecue spit I want that I'll get it to sort of, you know, put into my thing and then craft what I need there. Um, so... Uh, so... Uh, yeah, I think... Uh, this will upgrade boats. Those are furniture. And that's, um... The pig at the farm is actually your pet. You can, in fact, get him uh, outfits. So yeah, um, I'm gonna bypass the farmer realm and get him to the hunter realm because I want. Second thought, no. Uh... Yeah, no, uh, I'll just have him go to the Farmer Realm again. Uh, want to make Rare Trades. Or the Double Barbecue Spits. Alright, uh, send that box. So the Double Barbecue Spit, um, it's just a faster way of barbecuing, pretty much. And let's talk to this guy. Hmm, pretty sweet deal. Sorry, Hunter, I was lost in thought. The Argus City camp shared some of news from afar. I can't stop thinking about it. Seems that Thin's not in anymore, and all the crazy city folk are on some fad diet to pick up on the pounds. Or it's because most rich folk are fat and happy, while us working types are so horrifyingly muscular and veiny. So skinny city folk are itching to look fat and rich. They've discovered that all honey diet will really plump you up. People are calling it Slim Fat Diet. It's made honey a hot commodity. We're going to install a honey box on the farm. We need to capitalize on this this on this fad and make money. A major new MOGA export. We'll be able to use it too, of course. I've made a list of everything we need. I know you're busy and all, but remember the honey is useful for hunters too. Yes, we definitely want that. Um, so we need cactus flowers and some... Oh, darn my earth... Actually, no, that's not going to be a problem. So cactus flowers can be found in the sandy plains um, on certain plants. So we'll definitely want to go there. But um, that shall be all for this episode of Monster Hunter Try. So this is BBBB18 signing out.